Imagine riding through lush wetlands, ancient forests, narrow mountain passes, and high altitude deserts. For most of us, 2020 brought about an existential crisis like never before. But for some of us, embracing and exploring the great outdoors was essential. Luckily enough, we got to reboot Cruising Legends and Adventure Biking series. The task was to put together a 16-day ride in four weeks with four motorcyclists doing 3,000 plus kilometers across Arunachal, chasing the first dawn of the Indian subcontinent. The four adventurers, Harsh, Veer, Candida and Chaco will be riding brand new BMW 310GS motorcycles perfected for these terrains. While Castrol Power One Ultimate ensured their ultimate performance gets delivered. Each of the motorcyclists will have GoPro action cams mounted on their helmets for the GoPro Cruising Legends Challenge to capture the moments of the ride as it happens. Having one episode dedicated to each of their perspective while the crew plays catch up to document everything else and along the lunch. journey. We start off in Guwahati, Assam, before heading into Arunachal, where we imbibe with nature in the cloud forest of the Eagle Nest Wildlife Sanctuary. Staying over at a 4,000 year old fortified village in the Bombdila region. Navigating the treacherous and unpredictable Sela Pass at 13,680 feet. To enter the spiritual lands of the Tamang region. Then, we glide eastwards into Sepa and Zero, reveling in ancient local cultures and traditions. We seek adventure in the lower Dibang and Lohit valleys. Finally arriving at Walong. The easternmost province of the country. To catch the first glimmer of sunshine to hit the Indian subcontinent. Welcome to the Dawn Patrol. Nobody can more, 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 Am I thinking? Thinking what what dinner's gonna be like? I'm very interested. I think it'll be awesome. I don't think anyone who knows me would imagine me sitting and pondering the meaning of life. I mean, at any point of time. I definitely enjoy the motorcycles, 
the adventure that comes from them. And I don't think I would rank as one of those motorcyclists who would find a deeper meaning out of it. He's got the engine wire. But this last year has really changed everything, hasn't it? Not just in life, but also the perspective we have of it. If there's anything we've had plenty of, it's been time. Everybody says it, like mountains are calling and I must go. But yeah, it's... Yesterday he told me not to. What? Say that. Uh, no, I said, unfortunately, <laughs> it is a cliche. And that has made even a guy like me think about life. And the privileges that we take for granted. I mean, till now anyways. So, if you haven't heard me spew my nonsense on the interwebs already, my name is Veer Nakai. And I haven't had a day job in well forever. I used to be a graphic designer, but I turned in my Mac for a motorcycle. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. Right from discovering fatherhood to becoming a part of the GoPro family with many motorcycles and adventures in between. I'm hoping to fill in more of this chapter in my book and spend my time riding my bike and kicking back with the locals in Arunachal. Because it's been a crazy year and the mountains are calling and I am going. But that means they're going to get uh, COVID, then both of them will have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's just like so, 16 days of like, whatever. Like, let's, let's, go, let's, let's go explore parts of India that you can't find history on. You can't Google. There's so many things that we wanted to do or I wanted to do. I'm taking you guys to dinner. It's a 2,000 year old fortified village where we get to stay and live with the mom papi. So I'm going to eat local and live local. Drink local also. They make their own, yeah. Cool. So save some space for dinner. fortresses are possibly a model and predecessor to some of the more famous songs in Bhutan and Tibet. This is a last village of uh, Munpa. So in earlier uh, olden days, uh, sometimes uh, uh, used to have a lot of conflict. And because of that, this whole village was uh, fortified. In the evening, around five, the gate would be closed. And after that, uh, uh, people who stay outside will stay outside for a whole night. Amazing. So, Very few places that still like are like this. There's some 50 families that still live in the fortified uh, village. Did you try? They used to to try cut this one. Uh -huh. When there used to be a small crime, when yes. they will be tied here. They have for years been the only nomadic tribe in Arunachal. It has seen a renaissance in recent years. High up in the mountains once again. Getting us a little slice of local life and history. It's quite fascinating to see that this was once a fortress. I'm overlooking the sunset and I can't tell you how incredible this day has been. No mics. Come on, guys, it's time to party. Our one part of mission that whenever people come from outside, then uh, mainly the girls, they will come with uh, one bottle of uh, wine. And it's a kind of uh, we are welcoming you to our village. Huh? <laughs>
Like one shot? This is where basically is they, you know, sometimes fall in love and, you know. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> oh, sir. Yeah. Even the villagers, without drinking, they will not, basically, they will not sing. Sounds they will like say, no, no, I'll, no, I'll have yeah, drink the... Without drinking, don't sing. Without drinking? This life without drinking? Without drinking, no singing. Everyone will dance. Everyone. Not because I'm saying so, because the ladies are saying so. Everyone will dance. I'm not singing again for sure. No, single again. No, no, sir, I'm not singing again for sure. <laughs> no, you? what did you, what did you really want to ask me? I forgot. <laughs> They're not drunk. But it's a, it's a start. They're happy. They're... It's amazing. We're in this. I don't know where we are. Traveling by motorcycle stops as the sun sets for us, but the experiences don't stop for us. It's a culmination of all that, right? It's uh, the food, it's the people, it's the smells, it's... In this case, the ladies who are refusing to let us not go to bed or party harder. Making what made you scared? What? We're going to distill our own arak. What do you say? Yeah. We know how much trouble we get into. We know the skill. <laughs> we first ferment the grains yes. such as maize, rice, ragi, and then we make uh, bangjang. It's a kind of wine. Wine is basically part and parcel of our lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. Everywhere we use uh, wine. I like this lifestyle. Yes, this is a good lifestyle. They, they use everything to create stuff for the rest of the year. Like he's saying that they don't get vegetables in the winter. So that's why they're drying all the vegetables now to keep it for that. So whatever's left over, someone's, some mad scientist somewhere was testing, oh, what happens if we do this and put this together and hey, we have party juice. It's like you were saying, the road only got here very late. They fought, his forefathers fought the fact that they didn't want the road to get here. And that's why I guess the place is still so close. We're like, we are, what are we, like 20 kilometers off the main road, we can see the main road. Yet it feels like you're so out there. Having spent some quality time with the Monpas of Thembang, we headed towards Sepa, over Sela and through Tawang. Ever so often, as we hop from place to place in wonder, meeting new people, embracing new cultures and yummy food, we also give up bits of our lives and relationship to set off on these adventures. It can be a hard choice, but nothing comes without a con, right? Happy Diwali, the house was great. What a shitty way to have Diwali, all of us in different places. I don't have a day job. This is... The story, the story of my life. Excuse me, what is that move you just pulled? That's a <laughs> shit move. You can't pull that move when people are watching. <laughs> Either I'm there or I'm not there. And when I'm there, I'm there. Papa, what's 6 plus 4 minus 10? Zero. Uh, eat your food. She understands it. She lives it. She understands. She gets it. She is really a, a shadow of who we are. And as long as she's a better shadow than, uh, <laughs> than we are, I mean, that's what's important. 
nothing can change family commitments that I have, like nothing comes in front of that. And that is first, that's the first thing that's important. After that, then is motorcycling, of course. And then everything else. Basically, I ride motorcycles, I try and spend a lot of time on motorcycles, but that's just one side of the life. I am a father, I am uh, a husband. Yo, what's that? Mama's plane. Are you going to watch the whole flight? Yes. The wife works all the time. I'm only here because the wife uh, supports me to be here and supports me to do it. My folks have always been close to me. They've been always like friends. They've always treated me as, uh, as friends. I must have been like two. I, I don't know. I grew up with the so I grew up with the tank of my parents' bullet. Yeah. So they'd go, they travel all over the place. Uh, like I'd, I'd just be like on the tank sleeping. I'm privileged to have a family that's there to like support me and push me out there and understand all the nonsense I've ever done in my life. One of Arunachal's major tribe, the Nishi, believe in nature worship. Nishi literally translates to the Highland people. They aren't bound by conventional norms and recognize women as equals in their society. So today we rolled into uh, Papu Valley and I'm going to take Dawn Patrol and show them a different perspective of our adventure. Fast run, we're going to fast run. We're going to take a little bit of a little bit. Very, very peaceful. Every time I do something with GoPro, they throw me into some wild situation that I'm never used to. So it was only fitting to send those buggers off the edge. Oh! You only flipped them over. Man, my new obsession. <laughs> Learn to paraglide. Sometimes you don't really need much in life. Uh, just your family and uh, a view like this.
the more time you spend with them, the more you are welcome here and you are local. There are risks. There are risks to everything in life, right? Uh, you're prepared for them. I was in my full gear. Uh, it was a really stupid fall. It could have happened anywhere to anyone. Nervous, of course, always. Uh, even with a new helmet. But uh, I fixed it with some mountain love. There's not a scratch on me. Uh, I'm not aching anywhere. There are no pains. But my head did scrape the ground, and when my head hit the ground, my helmet took that impact. So scared is a strong word. We're cautious, yeah, uh, and I think that's what you need to be. But scary is that you're, you're just doing, doing, doing. You have no time to really like create for yourself. We, uh, what is that balance? Zero Valley was the perfect spot to meet Tawachake, the most famous Nishi person we know. His music finds inspiration in local folklore and is easy to relate to no matter what language he chooses to sing in. Before I used to sing only for my cousins and my brothers and my mom actually. Yeah. But it, it feels so good that now some people are listening to my songs. This song means, you know, uh, no matter how big the obstacle comes in your life, you, you don't worry. Just look forward and keep singing and go forward basically. This verse is for all of you, okay? You guys have to sing along with me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Just say, Jesus. just say, hug more. Hug more. Hug more. Hug more. Hug more. You can be louder. Louder, okay? Hug more. Hug more.
We are at Kiwi Winery where we are going to check out how they make the wine and then we are going to taste it. Awesome. Yeah. And we have Taba who is going to be joining us as well. Prior to setting up this winery, people were not aware about you know, so much of kiwi, yes. uh, organic kiwi being yes. available here. So when I started making kiwi wine and then we, I am branding it as Nara Aba, organic kiwi wine. Really by qualification, I'm an engineer. I did BTEC Agricultural Engineering. So I studied about this, um, the factory itself, then how it's, you know, like about the environment in impact also it's, it might have in future. Socially conscious person. Ready? Just, 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 just. You swirl it and then uh, you Suspense. take the aroma in. And actually, when you do that, it activates all your yes. that taste buds. Yes. Okay. Then yeah. thereafter. I'm already salivating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you slow it. Literally, but then um, my father-in-law, he was called as Nara. Uh, and he was <laughs> this year, we I also started uh, with a small batch of pears and then uh, plum wines okay. because even pears. And plums and are very abundant here in this place. But so, then you're at the right place because you're just at the source. Yeah. Uh, carton boxes. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. 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 This is nice. This is yummy. Yeah. Really nice. Joy from the Zero Valley. Wow. Organic oh, kiwi wine. So Nara Aba. Wow. Thank you. Beautiful name. Yeah. The branding is also Name's very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. We call it Paya Aro Pacho. Paya Aro Pacho. And now whoever wants to buy, buy. Yes. Wow. <laughs> One bottle I think will be fine for me. I want a case. I don't want a pair. Back again. <laughs> Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real. My heart is on the table, cause you're my everything. I do, 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 I wanna marry you. Apathani have rumored to have inhabited Zero Valley for more than 20 generations. They have perfected living in harmony with nature and are characterized by their unmistakable appearance. You feel very special. Like oh shit, ये तो हम देखा ही नहीं. ये तो अलग ही जगह पहुँच गए, you know. And even the look-wise and tribal people, different different culture. You just cross 50 kilometer and you'll hear different language. You know, it's like a mini India. The inspiration is all there, right? Uh, it's I don't have to look very far for it. This to us is normal life. This is what we missed in the whole year. On the motorcycle, explore new places, meet new people. Only when you step away to a place like this can you ever maybe build the rest of your life. As you continue to travel, you continue to grow. You go to other places, you see better things, how things could be better. So it's, it's, it's an evolution every ride, right? And if you come to places like this and meet people like this, how can you be safe?
the idea was to hang out with some locals, eat with them, drink with them. Uh, I think we ticked off all the boxes. I think that really is what motorcycling is to me. And uh, is you use your motorcycle to get from place to place and then enjoy and kind of immerse yourself and try and take away as much as you can from there. So I think we've taken away more than I expected. I must say, incredible few days, man. Thanks, yeah. Veer. Oh. Thanks, Kathy. Is it on camera that he's thanked Thank me? You, yeah. Veer. Awesome. So now, no pressure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> चल चले प्यार में हम आओ चले हवाओं के संग आओ आओ चल चले